today, learners. I'm Teacher Rose. Let's watch more and learn more in our discussion today. Now, we are going to discuss on how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. In this lesson, you are expected to, number one, locate the atomic number in the periodic table. Number two, identify the subatomic particles associated with the mass. And number three, determine the number of neutrons from the mass number. Matter is everything around you, such as table, a computer, trees, even a person is a matter. Look at your surroundings. Can you identify other examples of matter? All matter is made up of atoms. Atoms consist of three basic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. The nucleus center of the atom contains the protons positively charged and the neutrons not charged. The outermost regions of the atom are called electron shells and contain the electrons negatively charged. Proton symbol is P positive. It is located inside the nucleus of an atom. The atomic mass of proton is 1. Scientists define this amount of mass as one atomic mass unit or AMU or one Dalton and has the actual mass of 1.67 times 10 raised to the negative 24. Neutron symbol is N raised to 0 and it has no charge. It is found inside the nucleus. The atomic mass of neutron is 1 AMU and the actual mass is 1.67 times 10 raised to the negative 24. The number of neutrons in an atom contributes significantly to its mass, but not to its charge. Electrons are found outside the nucleus or electron cloud. The symbol of electron is E negative. Electrons are much smaller in mass than protons weighing only 9.11 times 10 raised to the negative 28 grams or about 1 over 1,800 of an atomic mass unit. Therefore, they do not contribute much to an element's overall atomic mass. When considering atomic mass, it is customary to ignore the mass of any electrons and calculate the atom's mass based on the number of protons and neutrons alone. Atoms have different properties based on the arrangement and number of their basic particles. The atomic number of carbon is 6 and the symbol is C. It contains 6 protons, 6 electrons, and 6 neutrons. This can be determined using the atomic number and the mass number of the element. The atomic number of carbon atom is 6. The atomic is unique to a given element and it tells the number of protons which is also equal to the number of electrons. While mass number is the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom and it is expressed in a whole number. Now, let us use the formula or mnemonic ape man in determining the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. We have A. It stands for A, atomic number, P, proton, E, electron. And the formula is atomic number is equal to the number of proton and it is equal to the number of electron. Now we have man. M stands for mass number. A stands for atomic number and N stands for neutron. And the formula is mass number minus atomic number is equal to the number of neutron. Let us have an activity using the formula mnemonic ape man. Here is the direction. Using the periodic table, fill in the blanks with the information needed to determine the atomic number, 
mass number, and the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. As you can see, the given element is gold with a symbol of AU. Using periodic table, you can determine the atomic number of elements. Remember that the atomic number is unique to a given element and it tells the number of protons which is also to the number of electrons. Let us see the answer on a blank if the atomic number of gold is equal to the number of protons and the number of electrons. I will give you 15 seconds to answer. Okay, here it goes. The atomic number of gold is 79. The number of protons of gold is 79. Number of electron is also 79. While the mass number of gold is 197. The mass number is the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons in an atom and it is expressed in a whole number. Then the answer in the number of neutron in gold is 118. To determine the mass number, you are going to subtract the mass number to the atomic number. If you will notice, we use the formula or mnemonic APE. Atomic number of gold is 79 and it is equal to the number of protons 79 and number of electrons 79 also. While the formula for determining the number of neutrons, we use mnemonic MAN and here it goes. You are going to subtract the mass number to the atomic number. The mass number of gold is 197 and subtracted to the atomic number 79. Then the answer in the number of neutron in gold is 118. Now, let us proceed to the next element. I will give you again 15 seconds to fill in the blank on the table. Second element, we have silver with a symbol of AG. Atomic number is 47. Number of proton is 47. Number of electron is 47. While well, the mass number of silver is 108. And the number of neutron is... Next, for the third element, we have copper with a symbol of See you. Now, fill in the blank. I will give you 15 seconds to answer. Atomic number of copper is 29 and number of proton is also 29 and the number of electron of copper is also 29 but the mass number is 64 and the number of neutron is 35. Fourth element, we have sodium with a symbol of Na.
the atomic number of sodium is 11. And it is equal to the number of proton, 11, and number of electron, 11. Well, the mass number is 23, and the number of neutron is 12. Last element, we have potassium with a symbol of K. The atomic number of potassium is 19. Number of proton is 19. Number of electron is 19. Mass number is 39. Number of neutron is 20. The atomic number of potassium is 19. And it is equal to the number of protons and electrons. Then the mass number of potassium is 39 and subtracted to the atomic number. And the result is 20 neutrons. Okay. To sum it up, always remember, in order to locate the atomic number, you should use the periodic table of element. Atomic number is the number that is unique to a given element. The atomic number tells the number of protons, which is also equal to the number of electrons. The subatomic particles are the protons, neutrons, and electrons. Mass number is the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons in an atom, and it is expressed in a whole number. Bring your mind to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in a particular atom. Always consider the formula mnemonic ape man. Atomic number is equal to the number of proton equal to the number of electron and mass number minus atomic number is equal to the number of neutrons. I hope you learn a lot with our topic. I'm Teacher Rose. Watch more and learn more. Bye-bye!